Welcome back to the Sun of 40. This is your girl Lou. So just want to come back to you guys and touch base and kind of get you guys caught up and um, let you know what's going on. So I did shoot it off the box to the person who won. That will be yesterday. So you should be getting your package as soon as possible. Do apologize for the tardiness of me shipping it off. Just been really busy with life. Um, as you can see, I cut my hair. Um, shorter because, like I said, I have been getting curly perms um, that you usually do on Caucasian or Hispanic or people other than ethnic people um, to make my hair curl. Uh, however, um, I decided that I was going to color my hair. Please forgive the eyebrow because I was about to take off my makeup. Um, so I decided to color my hair and the color came out pretty good. It's like a mahogany brown so it's like a reddish brown um you can't really tell unless i'm in like sunlight or something so that's one two um one of the girls i work with um did some comb twist on me um because she's trying to work on being able to do them so i just taught her how to do them so i can kind of have the style for a couple of days um so that's that um the reason why i haven't been putting up any tutorials or videos or whatever is because i did get promoted to manager at my salon hooray however that doesn't give me a lot of time to make videos so what I am planning on doing is I'm gonna start making videos on Wednesdays Thursdays Fridays and every other Sunday and then I'll just put them up whenever um, that's one thing then the second thing is is that I am gonna start my hair journey again so I figured I could take you guys for the ride with me so that you can see um which products I'm using how they work or whatever so that's that um and I'll be honest I'm a very lazy natural so this is gonna be probably good for those of you guys who are lazy with your natural hair uh that's the other thing um I had four inches cut off um just because I wanted to get all the dry and dead off. And I know my hair looks shorter in the back than it is on the top, like it does on the top. I just had them cut it all to one length. So basically that's what I've got, um, which still would make your hair kind of layered because the top would be longer than the bottom if you got one length. So that's that. Um, then as far as my makeup journey or skincare journey or whatever, um, I am on this side of 40, so that makes me a little bit older than 40 or 40 plus or whatever. We're just going to leave it at that. Um, so what I have been learning about my makeup collection and things like that, um, there are things that I got as gifts that I am so in love with and so happy I had. Um, my positive points in my makeup collection is I can honestly say that everything I got was everything that I ever thought I wanted. I have not purchased any more foundation since I got the LA Color Truly Matte Foundation. I, if you can see, and this is the end of the day. I've had this on since 7.30 this morning. So like my eyebrow coming off, that no big deal. I kind of rubbed that off myself. Um, so that is what it is. Um, then, uh, let's see other thing I wanted to tell you guys about. Oh, so I realize I'm more of probably like one of those pan project kind of people. I really love pan projects. Um, there are certain things that I gotten for my, for Christmas that I can honestly say that I would wholeheartedly go out and repurchase. Um, it's like my number one like thing I would do is Coastal Sense. No, yeah, Coastal Sense blush palette. This thing right here, I am in love. Um, so I can honestly say I've used every color in this palette at different points, and it was amazing. Um, then I know you guys all know. I've been using these for forever and two days, the LA Colors um, palettes. This one is the Contour palette. 
I am in love with this palette. I would wholeheartedly say if you are a beginner, this is everything. It's my bae. Um, then all the things I got from Sleek at Christmas, and I don't know if you guys remember, but I did get the Sleek Trio from Walgreens, and it was three palettes in one package. That thing was amazing. Um, so, so happy about that. I am still working on my LA Colors concealers, and my goal is to use these up, and then I have two concealer palettes that I want to use up before I buy anything else. Um, and so how I've been doing my summer makeup is I just have, I put a little foundation under my eyes and through my T-zone and a little concealer and down here because I do suffer from hyperpigmentation because I am getting older. So um, that's my way of kind of compensating for it. Eyeshadow, I can honestly say this palette right here that I got that makeup cell is everything. I could have just got this one palette and been good. However, I have several other palettes. The BH Cosmetic, Take Me Back to Brazil, amazing, amazing balls. Like if you like bright, vivid colors, that's your girl. Um, the Color Pops, You Had Me a Hello. I haven't used it a lot, and I'll be honest, I feel like the colors in here, I need to play with them a little bit more. Um, my skin pigmentation is very chocolate. Um, I don't know if it comes up good on ca camera, but I'm like a hot cocoa kind of chocolate. So I am got the orangey undertone, not red and not yellow, which like in between. So that's that. Um, all of the eyeshadow palettes I got from BH Cosmetics have been everything. Um, my Morphe, two palettes I got from Morphe, love them. Everything I got from Coastal Scent has been heavy scent. Um, the stuff like that, Shani 7 Pan Palette um, book thing, amazing. I think like if I could go back in time knowing what I know now, I would have just bought that and I wouldn't have bought anything else because it has all the colors, all the blushes, all the concealers, everything you would ever need in one palette. Um, as far as my lips... I can honestly say I'm glad I got everything that was in minis. If you remember what I was talking what I'm talking about, I just want to show you one. I'm glad I got all the minis because it gave me an opportunity to try colors that I necessarily went out and would have not gone out and bought and found that I really love those. As far as Buxom, because my daughter bought me the Buxom, I love the Buxom products. They are everything I wish that you could buy. Um, a couple of them individually, not such high prices because I got a whole set of minis and I would really prefer to purchase just a mini lip gloss instead of buying a full size one because I do have so much product. Um, all the stuff I got from Wet n Wild, NYX, LA Colors, all of those things, I love them. Um, my glitters I got off of eBay, still in love, still, still in love. Um... I just really wish, like, this setting spray right here, it's by Magic. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a Magic Co Collection Rose Water um, Hydrating Mist. I use this as my setting spray, and it's for your face, hair, and body. I promise you, this right here has made my life so much better, and I really wish that there was a way for you to buy a larger one than this. This is the one I got from my beauty supply. I am in love with it and I'm almost to the bottom. And this is my second one of these this year. I do go through a whole wet and wild setting spray and an elf setting spray. So I can honestly say I keep buying this one and I, I'm so in love with it. Um, I did get a hold of the Mario Badescu's face cleanser and as you can tell it's almost all the way gone uh yeah it it was a good purchase it does have a little salicylic acid in it so i can only use it once a week on my skin because i have eczema um 
all my skin scrubs that I did get. This is the um, raspberry scrub, pomegranate raspberry face scrub. And this is Queen Helen's. This thing is pretty much almost gone, so it was worth every penny, every single penny. Um, as far as my hair, skin, and nails vitamins and my women's daily vitamins, I'm on my second bottle of hair, skin, and nails and my second bottle of multi women's multivitamins. So I'm still in love with those. I'm just looking around trying to tell you guys everything really quick because it's been a minute since we talked. All of my makeup brushes have held up really, really good. Only had one brush break, and it was one of these uh, mermaid ones. And I believe that that was like kind of more of me. And it wasn't the mermaid one; it was actually the unicorn one. And when I washed it, I pulled this, the, you know, the whole thing out on accident. Um, so that's that. Um, I'm so happy I did get all the things that I had got to set up to where I could make my bathroom work for me with my makeup. So I'm grateful for that. I'm trying to think of anything else I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, all those Lime Crime lipsticks I got off of eBay. I did get a real Lime Crime lipstick. And I will tell you that they are very comparable. And I know a lot of people say that they have, you know, they will be kind of leery of buying makeup from eBay. I haven't had any problems out of any of the eye makeup I bought or any of the things I have received from eBay. So... I would say buy at your own risk because it's eBay. So, is there anything else I wanted to tell you guys? Oh, and I haven't been wearing eyelashes because I have a lot of lashes. And I remember I was sharing you guys with you guys my eyelashes. I feel like I am having allergies to the glue or maybe the weight from the lashes is a problem. I did go back to using hair glue. Um to do my eyelashes and i'll be honest i hadn't had any problems out of my lashes since i went back to using hair glue so i thank you all for watching and please rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you soon